When I listen to music by young composers, maybe fresh graduates, I notice mistakes at two different levels and I will discuss them separately. Um, the first level is the composing and the other level is producing. On the compositional level, um, one thing that I encourage composers to do is work really hard on their command of the form. The form in music is how we organize the time. Music is a temporal art and uh, our perception of music and also how engaged we are is really dependent on how interesting and engaging the form is. And one thing I notice in many, many compositions by young composers is meandering form. The form does not seem to be purposeful and there is no organic flow from one section to the other. There's also no sense of growth or like energy, increasing of the energy and reaching a climax, it kind of begins to meander. And that's actually one of the mistakes that many young composers make. Their form is meandering without that sense of an emotional arc. But for us as media composers for film and games, one of our most fundamental jobs is to create an emotional arc. And that emotional arc is achieved through increasing in the orchestration or dynamics or, or the form. So I would encourage young composers to study Beethoven symphonies or Wagner operas or classical music because the classical composers had a very powerful command of the musical form and most specifically how the form takes you by the hand on an emotional journey, on an emotional arc and that's challenging. So that's one thing that composers do. It's not so, easy, it's not so difficult to come up with a good theme but to come up with a really amazing form that you create variations on that theme or maybe introduce contrast or repeat the theme. That's the one challenge that young composers uh, face. On the production level, I would say um, music exists as a three-dimensional experience. You always hear something on the foreground, which is the melody, and on the middle ground, which is the accompaniment, and the background is ornamental embellishing ideas. And also music exists like a big gigantic building of architecture, amazing architecture, with events that are happening in a low range and events that are happening in a mid range, which is usually some kind of a figuration and obviously the melody is on top. And when I listen to music by young composers, sometimes um, it's very flat. You know, the melody and the accompaniment are really close together and jumbled and there's no sense of depth. Like in the, in the production, there's no sense of this is what's happening in the foreground, this is what's happening in the middle ground. And I would encourage young composers to consider just the spatial dimensions of music, which is achieved through orchestration and texture, but also through themes and accompaniment, and always to be aware of what's happening in the high, mid and low range, and what's happening in the foreground, the middle ground and background, because this is how you create that kind of a experience of the music as a spatial entity.